Salway, we're back with lesson 20, part C, and we'll be doing lines 860 to 866. And we've just talked about the elder Marcellus, a hero of the Second Punic War. And, and this has been in Anchises' tour of great Romans. And now Aeneas is going to notice he is accompanied by a young man. And we're going to find out who that young man is. At quic Aeneas una nam quire videbat egregium forma juvenet fulgentibus armis, sed frons laita parret deiecto lumina vultu. Quis, pater, ille, virum qui sic comitatur eiuntem? At quic Aeneas, and here Aeneas, he's our subject, and then this part, for he saw to go una together or with him a unim, a young man, remarkable or distinguished in form, as in in beauty, handsomeness, and with these are ablative shining arms. So our verb is Ananias saw to go. That's our complementary infinitive, but this is an indirect question. I mean, sorry, indirect statement, really. He saw a young man, accusative, distinguished, those go together, both accusatives, by his form, for his beauty, to go, ire, una, as one, literally, or with him, with Marcellus, together. This is an ablative, una. And it's how we say together as one. This is an indirect statement because we have a verb of the head, an accusative subject then in the reported statement with an infinitive. So, and here Aeneas saw a young man distinguished in form to go together meaning cum Marcello, with Marcellus, the elder Marcellus. And he saw this young man to go with shining arms. Shining arms. We've used this phrase before in the Aeneid, shining arms. Sed frons laita parret deiecto lumina vultu. But his forehead, meaning his face, uh, you got to put an est here. That's been left out. Est w is or was hardly happy. So that's the subject. And then parum is an adverb. Hardly laita happy. Also nominative. His face was hardly happy. And his lumina, his lights, meaning his eyes, metonymy, were deiecto vultu. Were you got to put in a sunt. The verb's missing again. His eyes were with a deiecto vultu, both ablatives, with a cast-down face or a cast-down expression. So this youth is beautiful and also distinguished by his, his uh, blazing arms or his shining arms, but something is wrong because his face is not happy, parum hardly happy or not happy, and his eyes are uh, cast down, or his there, his eyes are with a cast down expression. So something is wrong. Quis pater ille virum qui si comitatur eiuntim? Who father? That's vocative because he's addressing him. Who father? And you got to put in est again. It is that guy ille? So who is nominative? Ille is that. I mean, I said to put in S, right? Who father is that guy? And he's referring to this young man. Who so accompanies the other man going? And this is referring to the elder Marcel, Marcel, Marcellus. And it just it just means aium, but he probably put this word in to fit the meter. And who, so uh, this is a relative clause here. Who, subject, who so accompanies the other man going.
going as he goes. Eyuntem is a present active participle from eyo ire, and these are accusatives. This is all a relative clause. The qui is describing ile, who is the younger Marcellus. This, and we don't know that yet, I, I'm telling you that, but this person is the younger Marcellus. He was, I think I mentioned it in an earlier video, but he was the son of Octavia, Augustus's sister. And remember, Augustus, the Emperor Augustus, commissioned the Aeneid to be written by Virgil. So Virgil is commemorating this younger Marcellus here. He's a descendant of the older Marcellus, who was this hero in the Second Punic War and won the Spolia Opima the third time and the last time. And it was this Marcellus was so significant, this younger one, because it had been hoped that he was going to be the heir of Augustus, but he died very young at 19 or 20, and it was an extremely sad thing for the Roman state and for Augustus's house, and so he is commemorated in the Aeneid here. And so this young man, that's why his face is sad and his eyes are cast down, is because this is the younger Marcellus who died. So who, Father, is that, is that guy who accompanies so the other man going? Filius analiquis magna de stirpe nepotum? Is he a son? This is his question here. So is he a son? A son? Anne or aliquis or some, some magna... Uh, Someone, you say, someone from the, you know, you got an ablative, from the great stock, and then genitive of descendants, of descendants. And Aeneas' hunch is correct, it's because he is one of the descendants, so we're prompting this here. Is he a son? you got to put in est again. We're really leaving out est a lot. Is he a son, or... Some one of from the great stock, the great line of his descendants. Qui strepitus circa comitum? What a, a loud noise around him of companions. So this is what a loud noise or shout around Kirka would go with Ayum around him. Of companions. This is genitive. The Romans like to be accompanied with a great throng in public of their companions, their comes, which means the ones that go cum eio, go with them. And so the younger Marcellus has this great crowd showing that he is a great man. Quantum instar in ipso. What instar, what a weight or what dignity in that very one. What uh, dignitas, maybe you could even say, uh, in that very one, meaning in him, apart from everybody else in the crowd, and even perhaps apart from the elder Marcellus, who gained such great fame. This guy, the younger Marcellus, is great in his own right. So what great dignity in that one, and that's ablative there. Check... Uh, in star in Far's vocabulary. It was used also, I don't know if we read the passage, I don't remember, but of the Trojan horse it's used, that it's this great likeness of a, the massive horse. So uh, we use it here again. Sed nox atra caput tristi circum volat umbra. But dark night subjects, I mean subject, Dark night flies around his caput, his head, tristi umbra, with a sad shade. A couple comments here. This phrase, dark night, has been used before of literal night when Troy sleeps. We say that the dark night, he uses this term, noxatra. Here it's more of a figurative night because... Of, it symbolizes death around this young man. Dark night surrounds his head with a sad shade. 
And tristi is the ablative form for third declension adjectives. Remember, they end in I, not E. I'll read it one more time in the Latin, and uh, you can absorb the content with this reading. At quick aeneas una nam quire videbat egregium forma uenet fulgentibus armis, sed frans laita paret deiecto lumina ultu, quis pater ille virum qui si comitatur eiuntem, filius annaliquis magna de stirpe nepotum, qui strepitus circa comitum, Quantae, quant instar in ipso, sed nox atra caput tristi, circum volat umbra.